Uh, I'm Johannes Christopher Iridiano. I'm 33 years old and uh, I'm a graduate of Bachelor of Science in Nursing here in Cebu. So, nag-work pa ko as a volunteer nurse, but ang um, lagi uh, here in the Philippines, no, atong nga time, by the year 2012, medyo daghan pa manggong nurses. And then, uh, lisod pa po pangitag trabaho sa mga nurses. So, volunteer wala is well done. So, I decided po nga mo add sa ko sa... Before ko ni-apply o Canada, nag-op ko sa UK, but sad to say, na-abdan ko sa mga Guide, new guidelines nila, so ni stricto na sila, so akong gi uh, pull out ang ako ang application. And then, later on, muna to ning decide ko ang Canada. First is, ganahan sa ako ang uncle mag-federal uh, express entry ko, no? But, medyo lisod mang good siya, jutsod lo, no? So, it's quite difficult. So, uh, later on, sa next step na ko, I decided to QSW, which is the Quebec Skilled Worker, no? So, mao na to, nagbigay na may process sa ako ang uh, docu officer, visa officer. And then, sad to say, no, medyo na-halt ang ako ang application because of some medical issues, no. So, uh, I was forced to, kanang kuan niya, financial reasons po. So, for how many years, medyo nag-work lang sa ako as a company nurse. And then, uh, later on, uh, way back uh, around a year ago, and uh, decide na jugong na mo push through ko sa as a student sa Canada gi kuan ko ni ni Miss Angel gi introduce ko ni Mama Kita no because I was handled by Miss Joy man sa una Joy Salvador and then I was later on si Miss Makita ang ni uh, assist na sa ako ah katupad yung uh, nagkuan ko sa student visa na ko, no sa medical pa jud na pa jud sila yung mga additional tests and everything so nagpaabot na pugog kapila ko ko nag uh, usab ba sa ako ang uh, entry sa school no so supposed to be January of 2018 ko mukuan na move na po ng September kana uh, karon 2019 unya sa first po jud na ko nga lodge sa akong documents uh, na refuse ko so I was really devastated uh, I almost gave up no really because uh, I was expecting my expectations were high at that time kay SDS god sa liko niya gamay ra kayo so kuan sa ako ang visa officer visa specialist si mama kita nga mao ni na refuse and at first di ko katuo no ano man na we did everything so, I reviewed my documents and everything was perfect for me. Everything was perfect. And then, there were five reasons. There were five reasons that they were satisfied with how many reviews I refused. So, I had in my mind with a very big question mark. Man, no? So, the motto is that I have a story uncle, which is that I have support my mom, I have a support my mom. So, I have a lot of money and everything. So, the first one nga ni anak ko kol morag I don't think Canada is for me but mao to uh, I prayed and then medyo ning ning alof sa ako sa society nga to reorganize myself no so I ask God Lord uh, last na lang jud no I will give my best shot here karon so moto ning ingon ko ni mama kita nga ma'am uh, another pa so moto naglatch na mi and then after a month lang thank God I received the good news. It was uh, one of the happiest days of my life. I approved na jud ang ako ang uh, visa for Canada. Number one jud akong goal is to become a permanent resident, and not only permanent resident. I will not stop there. I will. I I opted to become a citizen, like my uncle. So he is my role model. Pod. So then, of course, to land a job, a decent job. No, maybe at first, uh, based on ang pre-departure orientation. It will be a challenging uh, journey. Uh, going to Canada is not a walk in the park, no, na easy lang or whatsoever. So the competition there is high. So ako na lang gi prepare ang akong uh, body, emotionally, physically, and then of course spiritually po ni Hana na maka survive rajo ko dito nga sa place, especially na uh, new culture, new place niya. Nasanay na ta diri sa life na to diri pa sa Philippines. Uh, don't give up. 
no matter how many times you fail, no. So you should get back up. No? Ang akong motto man jud in life is I will persist until I succeed, no. Uh, nabasa ko na siya by uh, sa greatest salesman si Ognandino. No? So ako nang gi-copy ang iyahang po and words niya. So I may uh, I made that as my motto and then back then I will persist until I succeed. But now I already have my uh, my visa so ako nang gi-change. I have succeeded because I persisted. That's it. I'm already married, no? so I have two kids. Uh, one is five years old, and then the other one is two years old. No, magolang na siya nito. Karon nga padong na ko larga, uh, mixed emotion jo gono kay. Of course, mabiyan jo na ko ako family, ako wife, ako kids dere. But for me, di lang jo ko masajo totally. It's because. I know that this sacrifice I do is really for them. No, I really want them to go for to Canada. So later on, if na amangay chance nga ako silang ma pull out the reyna, ma dadi to kay of course with all those benefits. No, ang akong wife, ma even though I'm still a student, may shohan man siya working visa for three years I think. And then ang ako pong mga anak is makaiskwela po for free. And then. Canada's education is one of the best in the world. So, mupun na yung igraba. So, no matter how hard, I know it's really a bumpy ride. Pohon dito. So, I will set or focus in my goals. Ang yun no kay para. This is for them. Ang yun. This is not only for me. This is for them.